Yolan Trun, welcome to another exciting day in our galaxy. And the days are always exciting when we got a new arc, like we now got Q Continuum Part 1. And there's a lot of things we have to talk about. And as usual, I also do a preview on the new officers they brought in. Today we will talk about Mariachi Q. He was someone uh, that was really funny in, in, in one of the games, uh, not the games, in, in one of the episodes of Next Generation. Um, that was his big party after he was made mortal, where uh, the color marine tried to, to um, abduct him from the Enterprise and stuff. And uh, the mariachi cue was quite funny. But um, he is definitely an interesting officer as well. And I will include him, of course, at some point in the game I will get him. Will not be too soon, I, I'm, I'm, I'm probably afraid. But... Um, when I get him, I include him into my normal A to Z series as well. But as usual today, I make a preview so that you know how important is it to try to get him via the game. Or some people will even think about buying the offices as soon as they can. Uh, you know that I usually don't, but some people do. And so it's always good to know before the offices are really um, gettable what they bring. In this case, we have to talk about the basics again. He's class science this time different cues, different classes, it's very funny, and um, has to do uh, with, a, with a synergy, by the way, that he's a different class than the other Q, um, gives uh, a little bit more synergy, by the way, and that's uh, very well thought this time. And he's from the group Interceptor Retaliation Squad. That group is the new Qs. We talked about Starfleet Q in a preview already, um, he is kind of the captain of the new Interceptor Retaliation Squad. And uh, this is one of his bridge officers, obviously, because there are no other officers so far in the game for that group. But the new Qs are. And he's from the faction Q, um, which can mean a lot what you need um, about what you need as materials to upgrade them. Un unless uh, I see the first one. Um, and what he needs, I cannot tell you, because uh, until they brought in the Mirror Universe officers, was always was independent credits. But there they changed a lot. So it could be that you need Chaos, Matter, or whatever for these ones. So I will not say anything about the materials until I finally see um, what, what they need. And uh, like with the other Qs, they are from the series. Everybody will know Q. Not every, not a hundred percent will have seen the the episode with the mariachi queue probably, but uh, most will have, and so it's very interesting to read those texts um, that are in the info box about every officer, especially in this case, when you don't, if you don't remember the mariachi queue from Next Generation. In this case, he does have an officer ability and an uh, below deck ability, as I said. I'm quite sure that Starfleet Q will be the captain of the ship, and so um, he would be used as an officer with the ability Our Good Fortune. On round start, if placed on a ship with morale against players, Mariachi Q increases your isolated cascade damage by 50%, and that will be 120% at rank 5 for 3 rounds. So the morale will be brought by Starfleet Q as captain, and then he is, as I said, the, the next addition for the Interceptor Retaliation crew. Because he gives good synergy to Starfleet Q if he's on the bridge as well. And he uses Starfleet Q's morale to trigger his own ability. So that will be the combination here. But he also has a below deck ability and that's immortal again. On round start against players afflicted by burning, Mariachi Q increases your apex barrier by 7000. And that will be 15000 at rank 5 for one round. That's quite interesting as well. If you don't have the full set of, of the Starfleet Q uh, or the, of the Interceptor Retaliation crew, you still can do it like you can do it with some of the below deck officers that are now part of PvP bridge crews. But if you don't have the full bridge crew, they also have abilities for using them on different ships below deck against other players. And uh, that's also the case with Mariachi crew. So... Um, that is quite interesting and definitely a big help then for um, one of your other crews, for example, your Freeman crew. Um, but he will be definitely, he is intended to be on the bridge with Starfleet Q as captain. 
He is a rare officer, so he will have two trades for away teams. Those you can only see once you have him. So I, I will include that later when I have him, when I tested him. It will take some time because usually the rare officers I don't get. I still don't have Beatrice Calra, for example, because you usually cannot manage to get those officers during their arc without paying. And so I'm uh, not very confident I will have Mariachi Q too soon because I usually don't buy officers. And uh, so um, we will see how that will work out and when I will get him. But if you got him, if you decided, for example, to pay for him, we will talk about uh, some shards in a minute. Um, then let us know what the away team trades are. I'm uh, very happy that my viewers often do that for my preview videos uh, in the comments below the video or on Discord. So thank you for that one again. But talking about getting him, you got a few shards already if you um, did the new missions. And uh, the promo code, I think, was Mariachi Q as well included there. And uh, there are a few shards here in the battle pass as well. There are two here in the free path. There are another two here in the free path, another four in the um, in the elite path, but you need 38 shards for him. So that won't be enough. If we don't get any generous other um, events from Scopely, for example, for the six year anniversary, that they will be very generous. I don't see a big chance of getting the new two rare officers uh, via the game in time, at least not during this arc. I haven't, uh, to be honest, not seen them in the, I haven't checked the, the shop yet if they are in there, but um, sometimes they do that, sometimes they do that a bit later. At the moment there's a lot of stuff for, for Chaos Tech in here. But at the moment, I do not see any cues here because they, they usually would show up in the new stuff. But it still can happen. And uh, so you will have to decide if you want the uh, full Interceptor Retaliation crew this arc already or if you want to wait until you have the chance to get them via the game. But I'm really interested uh, in your comments as well on the new officers. What do you think? Will they be helpful? Will you, for example, if you don't get Starfleet Q and the rare officers via the ARC, because even Starfleet Q is difficult, as I said in in my Starfleet Q video, will you, for example, um, buy them in the end then? Um, or will you, like me, usually wait until you have a chance to get them somehow via the game at some point? It's a really, really tough one this time because they brought in another PvP crew and uh, we will see if this one is is like uh, Freeman at the time when, when that crew came out that, that could beat everything else at that time. Nowadays it's a, li a little bit different. But um, I'm really interested to get your thoughts on that one as well. And if you want to see another video right now, the next one is right here in the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.